drinking coffee. Why are you here hooking me up, right? Anyways, okay, guys. Um, so what I was going to suggest is that we start with the links that I've shared yesterday. So I shared with you guys a bunch of documents. So on that prayer group, the first point was... Uh, okay, so there's a single single page sheet, right? Did you guys have a chance to open it up? So that gives you like a one one page summary of how do you pray and all that sort of stuff, right? So that's that one. So is that clear? So that's more about the positions, right? So let's take a look. So, so why don't you walk me through it? Well, what do you have to do? Mm -hmm. So no, so what we were Okay, yeah, do it. And it Yes. So when when okay, so hold on a second. So when you raise your hand you're gonna say you will say Allahu Akbar. Which means Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So until you get it memorized you can look at it. Right? But Julian if Julian will be with you, I think he has it memorized, right? No, you got it, Julian, right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So first Okay, Nathan, look. So Allahu Akbar. Right? So you know that you're praying your morning prayer, afternoon prayer, or whatever, whichever prayer it is, right? And then so so you say Allahu Akbar though. Okay. Right? So Nathan, can you say that? Just let me see, hear you. Yeah. And that means basically that Allah, God is the greatest. Allah is the greatest, right? Greater than any other concerns, anything else that's important in your life. Okay. Then, so you're standing there, right? And then the the page says a lot of other stuff, right? Which you haven't learned yet. Okay. So that's fine. But what we will be doing is we'll be saying Subhanallah. Right. Alhamdulillah. Wala ilaha illa Allah Wallahu Akbar. Okay, so what this means is basically the first one, subhanAllah, means that you're saying that, you know, I declare that uh, God is perfect and has no deficient, sorry, uh, I, I glorify God saying that there's, uh, that there's no indeficiency or incompleteness sorry there's no deficiency or imperfectness in God right so deficiency would be what like you know somebody having a need of food you know needing needing to rest having family all that sort of stuff is deficiencies incompleteness is like you can see I can see but right now you guys can't see the spider at, on the wall behind you right <laughs> no there's no spider, but you can't see, you know, behind you, right? The point is that God does not have these limitations. So his sight is perfect. His listening is perfect. His knowledge is perfect, okay? And then, <laughs> and then uh, when you say Alhamdulillah, it, it means that, uh, that God is the one deserving of all praises, right? And this is something interesting, right? So when you praise someone, it may not be that the person is giving you something per se, right? So I can say, hey, you know what? Nath is a smart investor, right? And, and that stays same regardless of the fact that Nath hasn't, you know, showed me any investment tricks at the moment. Clear? You like that, huh? All right. So, so it's like that, right? Because look, God is complete, perfect. He's the one who has created everything, right? So you may see something beautiful, but at the end of the day, God is the one who created it. 
right? Even though you may not own it, right? You may see an amazing car, but God is the one who indirectly created it, right? So he's the one who facilitated the ideas. He's the one who facilitated the research and, and caused us to exist in this time that we can experience those things, okay? And so he is praiseworthy. Uh, and then, subhanAllah, and then you, and then you declare your most important statement in this life, and there's such a powerful statement if you say it from our heart. The statement that there's no one worthy of worship, no one worthy of my full devotion, love, submission, except Allah. Right? And then you say, Wallahu Akbar, which means that God is greatest. So, so when you're saying these things, if you reflect on them, it will help you connect with God. Okay? So once you... Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So it's on it's on the WhatsApp. I'll show you. So this is what I've just said. It's all on the WhatsApp. The recording is also on the WhatsApp. Right? So I'll make sure that you have the translation as well. So we'll add that, you know, uh, after the call. Okay? And then what you'll do is you'll say, Allahu Akbar. And then you'll move into the bowing position. Yeah, on, in the Boeing position, not prostrate. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's just Boeing. Yeah, so you see on that exactly, right? So you see it on the chart, right? So you take a look at the chart. Okay, fantastic. Uh, and then in the in this position you say the same thing for now the same thing subhanallah alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar so so instead of worrying about all this thing you're only worrying about the four phrases and one of them you already know very well which is allahu akbar right so you just have to do these four phrases phrases and then you will rise up saying allahu akbar Right? So this is for now. We'll, we'll improve this going forward. Okay? And then you, as you rise up, you raise your hand as well. Okay? And then, and then you will go to the prostration. Saying Allahu Akbar, you'll go in the prostration. With the, with the head on the floor thing. Right? Okay? And in the, in the prostration, you will say the same thing. Okay? Now, if you want to, you can have a, you know, a personal dialogue and ask Allah for what you need in English as well and while you're prostrating. Okay? So you can have, you know, so the Prophet of Allah, Messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, he told us that the closest the servant is to his Lord is when he's prostrating. So that's a very good time to ask Allah of any of your needs, you know, asking for faith, renewal of faith, the strengthening of faith, paradise, even your worldly things. As we talked about last time, don't be shy to ask Allah. Asking Allah is actually a worship, right? Allah is happy. He appreciates when we ask Him. He gives us and He increases us in our status. Okay? So once you have completed that prostration, you will sit up saying, Allahu Akbar. And then you will do another prostration. Yeah, so so once you have completed your two prostration, it's one. Yeah, but no, yeah, and when you get up, you're just sitting. Remember how we did it last night? You prostrated, you sit up. So you're not standing up, you're just sitting on you're still sitting. So you don't have to worry about the toes as we were talking about last time. Do what you can, but if it's hurting you, like be comfortable, right? You don't want to be thinking about your toes and not thinking about Allah. Okay, so so you tell me. Remember that the the chart I sent you this morning from Mus. Yeah, that's for today, but that's from Muslim Pro, right? So actually, don't look at that chart. Look at Muslim Pro so you get the habit of it. Open Muslim Pro. Bro, why did you do this? Yeah. You were having your doubts about Muslim Pro? <laughs> okay. Okay. Alhamdulillah that you're... So that's what I'm saying. Let's keep in touch. Let's, you know, to, so that we, inshallah, prevent the doubts from coming in in the first place. Inshallah.
Um, so Muslim. No, so. Where's my phone? I would, I would probably go for. Uh, let me see which one does it have. Does it have Mohsen? No, no, no. Hang on a second. Let me tell you one second. Uh, so, is there something that says Hilal or something? Yeah, Hilal. hilal. Yeah, yeah, use that. Okay. Hang on. So, oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Well, okay. So you tell me what's the first time? What's the first prayer interval? 547. Yeah. 547 till? 7 up. Yeah, so that's the interval for the morning prayer. Mm -hmm. And then the next one is what? Is this saying 130? 109. 109, right, exactly. So 109 till 432, right? Yeah. And then 432 till 7? 15. Yeah. And then 831, I would probably say just like, uh, to be, just say like 1130 ish. It's midnight, okay? Okay. So midnight, like a real midnight, not like a, you know, the clock midnight. What's a real midnight? The night starts oh. at sunset. Okay. Yeah. And ends at the start of Fajr time. Okay. So the night length is 7.14 till? Nathan, you're multitasking, right? Yeah, you want to say 5.14. Bro, can you put your clients on hold, man? It's my sister. Okay. It's still 5.47 a.m. Exactly. So that's your night. Wait, wait, wait. What? So until from sunset to 5.47? Yep. Okay. So you, you, you do the, no, so you do the half of it, and that's your end time of your Isha. Okay. So half of it. Yeah. So you like... So, so for example, 7.15 till 5.45 is what? Uh, it's almost 10 hours, if I'm not mistaken. It's, uh, sorry, it's, yeah. it's 10.5 hours. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. So half of 10.5 is what, Nath? 5.25. Nice. So 7.15 plus 5.25 is? I don't know. It's 10, 12. Okay, okay, I'm done. Now. Okay, what's up? 12.4. Okay. What was the question? Julian, can you tell him how we computed the end time of the last prayer? Okay, so I know the end time. It's it's right in the Muslim prayer. I don't have to do the math. It's not there, end man. End. It's not there for you to cheat. You have to use a little bit of your brain. Yeah. Well, okay. So eight thirty one to midnight, right? Okay. Yeah, what's midnight? Huh? Midnight. Midnight is in twelve. Twelve. Oh, 12 this guy. Yeah. Too much coffee. No, no, no. Midnight is in twelve. Yeah. Technically, midnight it's is half, It's half. It's half of this. To this. What do you mean? Oh, that's really? a, that's a time, but you have to put it in half. So that's why it's like really like 12 40. Okay, okay. I'm going to pray before midnight, don't worry, but yeah. But what I'm saying in, in, in the winter, it can be 11.30 as well. So anyways, yeah, just try to do by 11.30, you should be good, inshallah. Okay, so so that's clear. Um, So where were we? Okay, yeah, so you got the prayer times, you got the Muslim pro, and you got the position, and you got what you will be saying, correct? Yeah. Okay, now... Yeah. now yeah, stop. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. This one, right, this. Yeah. So you do you want do you want to practice that once? How about both of you say it once? Mm-hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Right, got it. Listen, yeah, like all of these. The Allah Wakbar Subhan Can I say it after you say it? Allah. Yeah. Okay, so Okay. What I would like to do is for you to read it from there. Because we can oh, we can change the the reason I'm saying this is because you can practice right so we can change yeah. the writing so if it does not if the phonetics are not exactly how you will read those words we can change it you understand what I'm saying right so for for some people that you might add a vowel a vowel to uh, to make it you know sound better so what's important is to one, say it for one two and three cross up. okay oh, so we'll change it down there yep yeah this one is okay so uh look, this one okay, the one down here. Oh, actually, yeah, I guess that is. No. So, uh, Allahu Akbar. Okay. The first one, Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. Very good. Subhanallah. So, so, Nath, re hang on, hang on. Re repeat it, Nath. Subhanallah. No. Which one? Subhanallah. So, oh, 
Oh, it's a pun number. Yeah, it's the N, right? Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. So, repeat it again. Subhanallah. Good. And uh, Julian? Subhanallah. Good. And that's basically declaring that Allah is free from any imperfection and any deficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, next one. Alhamdulillah. Oh, the W. Okay. Wallah, well, alhamdulillah. No. So, wal? Well, wal? Alhamdulillah. Wal? Well, alhamdulillah. Right. Okay. Okay. Wait, why does it have a W at the front? I thought it was alhamdulillah. Great question. Okay. So, what we are doing is actually we are saying it all. So, alhamdulillah means all praises belong to Allah, right? Mm -hmm. And wal, alhamdulillah means wa, W is for and. And? And yeah, and right. Oh. So because because you're saying it all together, you're saying Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar. So you're saying that you know Allah is free from any deficiency and any incompleteness, and all praises belong to Allah, and Allah is the greatest, and there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. So it's basically you know it's and so it's kind of having a one continuous phrase. Okay. Uh, Clear? Mm -hmm. So you can even say it like this, right? So instead of saying so if you practice it, if you if you look at the recording I've sent you, you can you, you can actually say it like this too. Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar. So you can say it like in that full you know recitation tone as well. Okay. okay. So the next one. Uh, Wallah ilaha illa Allah. Right, okay. Wallah ilaha illa Allah. That's Wallah, Wallah, Wallah ilaha. Right? Yeah. Ilaha Allah. Allah. Ilaha Allah. Ilaha Allah. Wallah ilaha illa Allah. You're missing the ilaha. Ilaha. Wallah ilaha illa Allah. Wallah ilaha. No. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we can we can rewrite it, right? So this is I when I was writing with another brother, so this is what worked for him. So we can rewrite anything that phonetics are important, right? So whatever works for you. You can spell anything, but whatever. So you can use instead of an L, you can use a Z, X. I don't care, right? As long as you mm -hmm. you can you can reproduce the the phonetics. That's is that that's how you say it, right? Yeah. Like, did we? So you look kind of impressed. Yeah, you do. <laughs> huh? We're trying our best, man. Oh yeah, that's fine. As I said, look, it's not you're not you're not ranked or scored for how perfect your pronunciation or your accent is, but how what's the state of your heart right so you standing up and pausing your business activities and your fun activities and praying to Allah connecting to Allah thinking about it talking about him that that's just like way more important than the actual fanatics right I hope so no, what do you mean you hope so no you're not you're not guess, guessing man you're not gu guessing here. <laughs> all right okay so um, so do you want to practice once more or what, what do you want to do I mean, there's one, there's one more. There's just one more that we have to do. Okay. Uh, Wallahu Akbar. Wallahu Akbar. Ak Akbar. Right. Yeah, is it Wallahu Akbar? No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm saying Akbar. Okay. That's good? Is, yeah. that, is that good? Or? Yeah, it's, it's great. Okay. So let's do it once more. Okay. So <laughs> one at a time. So first one is, Julian, you go first. So, Allahu Akbar, Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah, Walla ilaha illa Allah, Wallahu Akbar. Right, and you know the first Allahu Akbar that you did, that's only, you will only be saying this at the start of the prayer and as you move from one position to the other position. Yeah, Allah, it is Allahu Akbar or Allah Akbar? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah Allah the same thing. The same thing, I just said differently. Right? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. I don't know, okay, I'll say Allahu Akbar. Salahu Akbar Subhanallah. Yes. Wa Wahamdullah. Mm-hmm. Um 
Wa la ilaha ilaha. Not repeat that? What? Okay. See, what do you have? W A, which, which is wa. Okay. Wala. And then you have. Wa la. Wa la ilaha. Illa. Yeah, wa la ilaha. Huh? No, okay. Nath, it's spelled like. Is it, what is W A? Wa. Okay. Then you have what? What's the spelling? La. Okay. What is the next one? Ilaha. Correct. What's the next one? That's the tricky one. No, what's the spelling? What's the spelling you're seeing? L L. Yeah, I L L is what? L. Okay, and then you have a A with it, right? Yeah. So what does that mean? Exactly. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then you have the name Allah. Oh, two of Allah Allah. Yes. Mm. So you if you Yes, it's illa Allah, or if you're joining them together, it becomes illa Allah. So if I say wa la illa Allah. Yes, that's fine. Okay. And then um, wa la. Wait, what's the? I don't know how to say that last one. Wa la hadu. Wa la hu akbar. Yes. So it's basically the same thing. You know how you said Allahu Akbar. Mhm. Mm now you're saying wa la hu akbar. I'm gonna rewrite this and break it down. Yes, please go ahead. So actually rewrite it and send me a snapshot on WhatsApp, okay? I'm gonna go eat some food. This mama. Yeah. <laughs> okay, listen, let's let's read a verse of Quran and then I'll let you guys go and then we'll sync up on when is it. Okay. So you wanna open your Muslim Pro? <laughs> Alright, where should I go in the Muslim pro Quran? Yeah. Which chapter? Uh, your choice. Any anything? Yeah, we can use something random for now. And then Maybe number twenty one. Twenty one? Oh. Al and uh Yeah, Al Ambiya, which means the prophets. Okay. And which words do you wanna pick? You can you can scroll some come to something random. I'm gonna choose number seven. Number seven. All right, let's meet them. Lucky numbers. Yeah. Okay. So you want to read the translation? Oh, messed up. This looks hard. Oh, you read the English one? Yes, yes, English. Oh, and we sent not as our messengers before thee other than men, whom we inspired. Ask the followers of the reminder, remainder if ye knew not. Okay. Uh, so listen, uh, you know, you see those uh, three bars on the top right? Yeah. So you probably want to click that. And then go to what? Uh, settings. I'm not um, yeah, is our translation is different than No, I know how to get to settings. One sec. You want me to just read it all out? Yeah, but we're going to fix his translation too because he's reading all this, you know. D and die and you know that's not very easy, right? Yeah. All right, download the right one. Okay, so Julian, read read the translation for him, or give it to him so he can read it out. Well, I'm gonna read it one second. I just wait. Seven. All right, got you. And we sent not before you, but men to whom we inspired. So ask the people of the reminder. If you do not know. Okay, great. So, what do you think about this? Oh, before you know this. Yeah. W w what's so? What do you want to? I think what what I would like to do whenever you read a verse, think about a couple of things. One, what does it tell me about Allah, right? Because it will tell you something about Allah that will help you know Allah better, love Allah yeah. better. Okay. And the second thing is, you know, does it give me something? So right now we are not looking at the, at the verse from a you know, what's permissible, what's not permissible perspective, but more about knowing about Allah, okay? That's that's the goal for at this yeah. stage. So what you want to do is you want to think about, okay, does it what does it give me to think, feel, and act better? Okay? All right, so what can you what, what can you take away from this? I have no idea. If you, do, if you don't know about, I'm assuming, Islam, you ask the people that have already been inspired, so people that already know. Exactly. So that's one. That's a great thing, actually. It's a very great principle from Quran, and it's a very general principle, actually. 
for anything that you don't know in life, you ask the experts. So if I don't know mm -hmm. about investment, I'm going to ask Nath. You get a mentor. That's how we have you as a mentor. Exactly, right? Yeah. So you ask somebody who can tell you, right? And that will, so that's a very, so for Islamically, you ask someone who has knowledge. And then, for example, if you're investing and you want to know about halal investments, you ask someone that can help you, you know, halalify your portfolio, for example, right? Yeah. So that's one halal. thing. Uh, uh, the Muslim pro profile. I'm going to create that together. Okay, listen. Uh, and then the next thing is also what Allah is saying is that you know that uh, that the prophets that were sent were actually men, right? So so they were not so a man would come as a messenger to people. It wouldn't be that that angels are coming as messengers. It would not be that God Himself is coming as messenger, right? So that's a false ideology that always Allah will send men to teach human beings, not like an angel, not like a you know God Himself. Okay, so next verse, uh, Judy, you want to read that? Number eight. Yep. And we did not create them bodies that ate not food, nor were they immortals. Right. So, see, again, this is very important, right? So how, pe for example, you know, you, last time we were talking about what uh, what Quran says about Jesus, peace be upon him. And that's the thing, that Jesus, as well as Muhammad, peace be upon them both, and Abraham and all of them, they were bodies that were dependent on food and drink. And they were not immortals, right? So they had a limited life. So they were not God themselves. Okay? okay, and likewise, you know, we have these dependencies, but God does not have these uh, dependencies. Okay, and we'll just read the last one, one more, and then we'll conclude. So, Nathan, you want to go for that? Got it. I got lost. Where is it? Uh, nine. Are you multitasking again? Number nine. Then we fulfilled to them the promise, and we saved them and those whom we would. But we destroyed Al Musfrin. Extravagance in oppression, politism, and in sin. Okay, so now this is okay. What does this tell you? This, this is something you can tell us, Nath. Come on. Me? Yeah. So, Earth, so take it. Tell me your words in there. Huh? I don't know, man. So the, just take the first line, the first phrase. Yep. What does it say? I promise me, they got saved. Yeah. So likewise, whatever Allah has promised will come in effect, even if it takes some time, right? So Allah has promised victory, you know, happiness, tranquility, paradise for the believers, it will come. So, for example, mm -hmm. even if people are opposing the messengers, even if people are opposing the religion of Allah, this is what Allah mm -hmm. will give victory to. Okay. And Allah will save them. Okay? And, and then Allah will destroy the ones who are extravagance the one who are oppressing people the one who are committing sins okay clear so that's a good reminder so ideally what will happen is that when you read these things it will help you remember that look allah is the one who's in charge my success is in the submission and obedience to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if i disobey i can run for a little time but not forever right so even if i disobey i have to go back to allah and ask him for forgiveness yeah Okay, so so yeah, so that's probably in half an hour. I don't want to stretch it too much, and then we'll continue on Wednesday. So I guess the next goal is when the next time for prayer comes, let's let's make it happen, and uh, continue that inshallah. We should be free anytime after two p.m. today. Okay. <coughs> okay. Oh, yeah. But yeah. All right. Talk to you soon. All right, All right and uh, upload that video from last night, inshallah. So we'll put that up. Oh yeah, yeah. Got it. All right. Take care, guys. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Thank <laughs>